Hi everyone, welcome along today. Good look at slow filling push button systems. Um, they're the particular ones that do fill really slowly after a while and it's because they use a filter inside the valve and that filter blocks up so it is an ongoing problem. I keep getting uh, people saying that their, their system was alright, it was running fast when it was new uh, but in a couple of years it started to get slower and slower. So I'm going to show you how to take the valve out now and then show you where that filter is to clean out. Okay, so let's go. So, take the lid off. Usually if it's this type, it'll just ping off like so. Here is our valve, and this is it. It will either be a fluid master, a type like this, or it will be something like a Torbeck. Okay, so the first thing is to turn the water off first. Now, one thing you can see, this is a bottom entry ball valve, okay? So by that we mean obviously the supply goes up into the bottom of the system uh, to feed the ball valve. Yours may be a side entry one. If it's a side entry, it will come in the left hand side normally. Uh, same situation, same sort of thing to renew the valve, but on this particular one, we're going to renew this bottom entry valve. So, you may have a valve like this, if you haven't, then you're going to have to turn it off at the mains, okay? Uh, there's no other option, but if you've got one of these, straight screwdriver in the slot and turn like so. When it's a crossways like that, the water is now off. When it's in that position, you're safe to go, all right? So just flush the system, let's get the water out of it. There we have it, all mopped out and so we should get very little now out when we undo the union. There'll be a little bit that's in the pipe, but that's general anyway. We've put a bit of cloth on the floor, which I think would still be advisable. Okay, when you do it, we'll put a little bit of old towel down there. Do the same, it won't be much, but it's worth having it there. Okay, and we're gonna to proceed to undo it now. Banner on and just give it a little turn. It should come undone easily, because it is just a plastic valve. And they're never tightened up that tight. Let's get going, you should be able to do it by hand. I've got a flexi as you can see on mine. Many of them will have flexes. Now you can see the water coming out of there now. That's the little bit between there that's in the valve. Okay, don't worry about it, it'll ease off. That's why we've got a towel on the floor there, just to catch any little bit left in the valve there. Put it right and done. And just pull it away like so. Okay, you can see the little ceiling washer inside there as well that's used to seal the joint there. Okay, now we're going to proceed with undoing the actual valve itself. So now the toughest part, getting the nut undone. Again, that's why we like a little spanner on here. We can get a little short one on there. We can get on that nut there and get it undone. So I'm done by my fingers now. So, spin it right out. And that's gone down behind the back of the pan, probably. <laughs> Usually they do. Okay, and then once we've got to there, we can pull it out now. It should just pull out like that. And there we have it. One valve removed. So, we just pull that out. Out of there, okay? It's in there. I've just pulled it out. It's a bit tight. I don't want to do it again. Um, in case it knocks all the debris off. But I want to show you that how much debris gets on that filter. Quite a bit, as you can see. Get a lot on there, and that will slow... Um, you write down, or slow that flow in. Um, another thing with these, um, if you've got a low pressure system, um, this also takes the flow down really quick. Uh, and I'd, I'd advise not putting this in, take it out. If you're fitting this valve on low pressure, by that I mean on a tank fed system, if you're fed from a, a roof tank, this will probably already be fitted in the valve when you fit the system or when the plumber fitted it, uh, it's a good idea to take it out for low pressure and it allows the full bore of water through the system. Um, is, most of the stuff on low pressure will go right through, but mains... So can I clarify that? If you're putting it on a low pressure system, you take that valve out. Take that out. It won't yeah. damage anything. No, it'll, be, it'll run quicker. Okay. Right. Okay. But if it's on a higher pressure system, i.e. coming off the mains, you need that Probably valve to stay in yeah. to reduce the flow yeah. of water going through and, collect any and to collect any rubbish. Yeah, Will it not down. collect the rubbish then on a slow? No, because it's got quite a big hole, it allows it all through into the system. And because it's fed from a tank anyway, you don't get that. 
muck is kind of clear. You don't, this only happens from the mains right. when you get stuff like this. It Great. doesn't really happen from a tank fed system, so it's not really required. Okay, thank you. Just checking. So I'm going to clean the filter off, turn it under the tap or whatever, and clean it all off. So if yours is mains fed, this has got to go back in. Be careful how it goes in, because that little washer there can pop off as you push it in. See, it tries to come away. You've got to be really careful to make sure that goes in square. It tries to come off as it, as it goes round. Very awkward. You've got to keep at it until it slides in. A bit of grease normally does it, but actually because it's wet, it's going in, there it goes. How do you know if it's... Well, you'll see it rim out of there if it isn't in right, okay? Right, okay? We know that's in right. Push it all the way home, okay, right in, up to there. Okay, that's that's the home position, it's back in. You just see that little nib there, okay? And we're ready to uh, put our aval back in. So, there we have it guys. If you've got a slow filling system on your push button one and it's taking ages, uh, regardless of whether you've got mains pressure or whether you may be on the tank and you've got that filter in there that's blocked up, it's that filter, all right? <laughs> so it's easy done, no problem to check. In fact, I took the valve right out, but on uh, a lot of systems, if you've got room to move the pipe out of the way, you can see you can actually pull that filter out in place without taking the valve out of the system at all if you want to uh, and clean it and just pop it back in all right or take it out altogether if you've got a low pressure system fed from a tank okay simple job easy done okay <laughs> thanks for watching guys all my videos you know where they go Darren 33 thanks for watching